eight, nine, and it was freezing. What brought me to Wall Street was the inevitable injustices bestowed upon us from corporations. The merger and the bankers, the control of the, of the minority of, a, of the majority of us from, from a small percentage of people. It's been going on since forever and far too long. And finally, finally a beautiful cause to, to shed light on all those oppressed, because we're all oppressed, if you're not on that percentile. We're all oppressed. So this is finally shedding light and enlightening those that may not know, just like I didn't know. Okay, I, st I was stuck in a, in a, in a, in a, in a movie. I was stuck in a, in a fabrication where they wanted to keep behind TV and computers and entertainment. I was stuck in all that, and I enjoyed all that, but I realized that there was something more important. And so this, this was the beginning of that. It was a pivotal for my generation right now today to step outside of our comfort levels, to set out, step outside of our comfort zones and come out here to occupy Wall Street. And that's what I'm here. I'm here because our voices need to be heard because these issues are, are, are affecting us every single day. This is not a fad. This is not something that we just made up and we're all crazy. We're here because it's necessary. Uh, and what do you think is wrong with the system? Oh man, the system. Listen. Where do we start? <laughs> okay, well, first of all, I just want to say, <laughs> honestly, everything, <laughs> everything. All right, I, I hate to be pessimistic about it, but that's the truth. That's what I. I mean, let's I just. Mean, I, I, I'm trying to be an optimist, but it's hard to be an optimist in a pessimistic society when you have systems when we're supposed to be the most, the most advanced nation the most advanced nation and you got 30% uh, of the population or 26% of the population homeless. There's a goddamn problem there. Something's wrong bigger than me to eye, bigger than these corporations. If we are so rich, there shouldn't be a goddamn homeless person on the street. There shouldn't be. That. I mean, that's just logical. We're just coming from the bottom. There should be more health aids. There shouldn't be people dying of, of, of not having, uh, being able to afford health care, for Christ's sakes. We're the most advanced nation in the whole world. We're supposed to, we're supposed to be free of health care. We shouldn't even have to argue about that. That shouldn't have, we should, that's not even a discussion platform that shouldn't even be having. And we're having it in 2011. Okay, in, in, in October 2011, we're having that discussion. Okay, and I want you to know that that's supposed to subside. It's a total subside. That's the beginnings. That's this, and I'm just scratching the surface of issues, ladies and gentlemen. Right, right. And um, how has the system failed you personally or a loved one? You know, I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. I was a little more fortunate. You know? I was in the lower middle class, if you will. Um, but we came from the bottom. We struggled. I'll tell you what, what fails me is when I walk outside that door, and I walk outside that door and I still see impoverished right? kids, when I still see lackluster educational systems, when I still see that today, they failed me. They failed me. Because it shouldn't be a it shouldn't be a small percentage of us that want to know and care about. There shouldn't be a small percentage of us that are that, that are so have silver spoons and have uh, luxuries bestowed upon us. It shouldn't be, and it shouldn't be a common theme that all of us are struggling about it. Now, I don't want to. I don't want to take the point of being a uh, pessimist and coming in and, and acting like oh everything's wrong. But you know what? The, the fact of the matter is, the more wrongs are outweighed. Yes, it's in you and me to change, and that's what I'm here for, because I invoke change. We are change. We are the change, and we're not going to be oppressed. We came here in love and peace. Occupy Wall Street. They're trying to sell us on this whole, uh, oh, it's violent, and we're, hey, I couldn't be more at love. I couldn't be more at peace. Yeah. I want you to see, man, what mm. I reason, baby. I reason. I can't, we couldn't be more at peace and love. Free food going on out here. No one's right. killing each other. Don't believe the hype. Don't believe the goddamn hype. All right, it's not. It's not that negative. It's not because this. If it was that negative, we'd probably all be dead. Okay, wake up, America. It ain't that bad. All right, not out here. The war's not out here. We're here for you. We are you. And what would you like to see happen from Occupy Wall Street? Man. Well, first and foremost, first and foremost, if we're gonna start, if we're gonna, if we're gonna scratch anything, what I'd love to see is that the acknowledgement of the wrong things. Acknowledgement. You did wrong. You were greedy. You were selfish. It's okay. It's okay. I was I was greedy once. I was selfish once. It's okay. It's okay. I'm a big boy now. I grew up. I learned. I matured. 
okay? You have power to, to invoke change in a positive way. How much more billions do you need? How much more do you really want slavery to, to, to just continue and progress? It doesn't need to. It doesn't need to. We don't need to be rats in a rat race. This will be a much more productive society and work. An enhanced society for pollution. Because remember, it's affecting us all. It's not like if it's pollution in the world, some of us are dying. No, we all are affected. We're all on this, in this globe together. It's not me bigger than you, bigger than me. No, I want to see the enact start there. You were wrong. Now, what are we going to do? Let's start there, politicians. Let's start there, President, Mr. President. All right, what's your agenda? Because if it's working against us, then we didn't need you in the first place. <laughs> we didn't need you in the first place. Government is supposed to be us, not the other way around. It's supposed to be for us. We are government. It's right here. It's right here. Right here. Here. For the people. Not against the people. Not in the backs of the people. Not, 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 not at our, our expense and our blood, sweat, and tears and our death. No. The other way around. We're here working for you for the betterment of us all. All. That was the sole democracy. Stop preaching what you ain't, please. It's, it's, it's tiring. We already know. The media it works for you. We know it. Corporations work for you. We know that. We're smarter than you think. Stop feeling this bullshit. We read that book. We heard that song. It's old, and we didn't like it in the first place. Thank you. You got any final thoughts? Final thoughts. Um, first, I want to thank my good my comrade right here. Video recording this. <laughs> All right? <laughs> Roberto Enamorado. People like yourself. People like yourself are, 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 the, are the solutions of tomorrow. You planted the solutions of tomorrow today. You're giving me a platform to speak my mind. You are the solution. I'm giving myself an opportunity to express myself. You're giving me that platform. You are the solution. Creating awareness. It's like you were educated. And it's like I am educating myself. But we continue to build and progress. I want to say thank you to people like you. Because you deserve the airtime. Not these goddamn hypocrites and stuff. No, no, you deserve the airtime. And these people deserve the airtime. The airtime is us, the positive change, the solution. And that's what I want to focus on. Let's focus on the solution around here. Because the problems are already, they're already magnified. We don't need to believe in that. We know that they're issues. I sucked it under a rug. Now I got solutions for you, buddy. I'm part of the Congress. I'm part of the government. I'm me. That's it. Here's the solutions. All right, brother. Thank you, man. Appreciate Thank you. It. Thank you.